Hey guys, good morning, it's Tony. Before I start the video, I do want to say please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to join the Patreon, you can join that patreon.com forward slash but I'm not a trader. Um, I might just start a new series. I'm just sharing this because I just kind of saw it, right? And I already shared it in the chat. But uh, Redfin is a really good spot for shares, right? Or you can do options, whatever you want, right? It's your money. But usually on the weekly, obviously, my indicators are, if you're using it on the weekly, it's more for long-term shares, right? And obviously, the weekly is, is is insanely accurate, right? Especially for if you want to load up on shares and add to your long-term. This is a perfect example of how, you know, you don't have to really do anything for like a couple of months. And then you really only get active once you see the indicators go bullish, right? And you you long, essentially, on the bottoms, right? This is basically it, right? So what happened last time, right? You close your bull triggers back here. Where are we? Yeah, bull triggers back here, along with the first bullish Haken Ishii candle. Haken, I, I don't even know what they're called, but again, right? You went up 184%. Same thing here, right? Closed it, bull trigger down here, right? Stochastic, right? Everything lines up, right? You rallied up 157%. And I'm expecting the same thing. Like uh, I'm expecting the same thing for right now. I am looking anywhere for like a nine to ten area, at least a at least a push back to like eleven bucks, which is almost a hundred percent. And and if you do break these highs, you're basically going to I think you're going to thirteen seventy four, if not more than likely back to these highs of seventeen bucks. But again, nonetheless, you're looking at buying these and you're looking to forget about them for at least I don't know like almost a year or something, right? You're using the weekly to to buy the lows of the of the market essentially and just add to your long-term portfolio so this is just one of the things that i saw recently <clears throat> i could go and just you know if you guys like the series i could go back and just you know add like just look for weekly closes and then just tell you guys when to buy shares right because this is really it for long-term investing you know it's like perfect so yeah there you go um yeah redfin really good place for shares if you guys are looking to hold at least you know a year or longer than that, I think it's a really good spot for for shares or just for your long term, right? If you want to add, like if you are looking to add and just never not look back at it for like another 10, 20, 30 years, Riffin, I think is a really good spot. I think it's about to do like a like 80%, 100% gain right now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.